here we go again. Hi, <laughs> my name is Kaylin, and if you don't know me, then honestly, I don't even know. I don't even think I need to introduce these videos at this point. If you clicked on this video, you know my lore. I was on a YouTube channel, and I made some very fortunate skits with some very unfortunate characters that I, you know, I just like don't even know. I can't even. There's, there's just like not. It, it would take so. It would take so many words. There, there isn't a scope of. It's honestly really hard to talk about. There's like a. It's, it's really. Um. There's not words. This wasn't me. It was me. But if you see it, it wasn't me. So we're gonna be ranking my seven Supergirls characters. If you are seeing this, I have. Died of embarrassment. Let's get this party started. Let's get it started. And then let's get it started. And then. <laughs> Stop. You don't have to, to applaud. So we have five categories, as we typically do. Sorry, I have to like reposition because I think I'm having arthritis in my knee. Tier one, you're invited to my birthday party. This tier means it means that you're like so tolerable, you know? It means this character is so tolerable that I. I would invite them to my birthday party. Am I having, have I had a birthday party? No, I did in fact spend this past birthday this year wiping cat poop because my cat pooped on my shirt and then on my bed. You're invited to my birthday party. Tier two, if I saw you on the street, I would survive. This is like, if I saw you on the street, I would survive. Would it still not make me full of joy and whimsy? Yes, but would I live? Yes, also yes. Tier three. Ugh. <clears throat> Tier 4. I wish I could scalp you. I don't know that I need to elaborate on that. Tier 5. Criminal Ooh, offense. Wait, wait, this wait. character is so horrifically bad that I, it should go to jail. And that's my tears. We're gonna start off with a, with a gentle soul. This is a personal favorite character of mine because I- Only once did I play this character when I was making these videos. This is our dear- Honey bunch, pookie bear, shnookums, pumpy umpy umpy yeah. Gerald. Aww. Gerald was a. To be honest, I couldn't. I, I couldn't tell you the origin of, of this of this of this kind of this cat fellow. However, Gerald was a little monster. I think there was like monsters under my bed or something, or I, aliens in my room. If anyone remembers, let let a girl know down in the comments down below. But I think that might have been what it was, and he was one of them. I don't know why he made it out of that video and he became a recurring character in our little series, but he did. He did. And I did play him the first time, but then it got to the point where he had to be in scenes with me. And, and, and don't get me wrong, I had many videos where I had me and myself as a character in the scene together with little split, split screen effect. They're not good split screen effects, let me tell you. But I was also like 14 at the... 12 probably editing me, so that's pretty impressive and if anyone wants to hire me to edit their movies I'm looking for jobs. Anyway, Gerald, lovely fellow. I did get married to him once. <laughs> anyone remembers that? And we did get a Bruh. divorce. I mean, I don't really know if it's a divorce, if, if you want to be clean on this out if it's a divorce him or if you didn't even marry, or marry him in the, the first and replace him. My mom would put the mask on um, and be in the videos with me, so I guess I, I married my mom. Gerald, you're invited to my birthday party. Next up, um, we have a character that I think I was projecting a little bit on this one. This is Shy Susie. I only remember that this character existed because I saw, I unfortunate, so unfortunately, I opened TikTok the other day and saw my face. And it was this, it was the video of, of this, of this little, little twerp. Huh? It was on my For You page, which I think is not something that- I should be able to filter my own face off my For You page. Not that I don't like my own face. I- I'm- I love myself, but not- not that one. Well, you know, her whole storyline was that she was shy and just so awkward and she had a pet potato and no friends, which again, probably projecting. I was homeschooled. I was not homeschooled for fun reasons. I was homeschooled because I had the- most atrocious mental health an 11 year old could possibly have. So bullied. <laughs> Had not a friend. I did not speak in school. Like not a word came out of my mouth and I cried and threw up every single day. And that is not an exaggeration. This is not, I do not want empathy, please. It's funny. 
it's just funny because I was shy Susie and you all thought I was glamorous Gretchen. <laughs> shy Susie. Shy, I would invite shy Susie to my birthday party. Glamorous Gretchen. She was the, the counterpart of this video. She um, was also for some reason the seven Supergirls profile picture. <laughs> I'm not sure why that was. I, I don't really know. She's gonna go in UGG. To be honest, I don't remember anything about her, but I just- I don't like the way she's smiling at me. I just watched this couple walk past my living room window looking so happy, um, and I just like- just started thinking about how nobody knows that I'm in here filming this video about me dressed up as horrible little scary little character as a 12 year old. Moving on to the next- Uh, sorry. Uh, moving on to the next character. Sorry, I just- I like don't know what's happening right now. That is what OCD can feel like. A million thoughts coming at your head all of the time that you can't seem to stop. Just usually they're not in the form of paper balls. <laughs> this video is brought to you by No CD. OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, is something that I have actually struggled with my whole life. I've never really talked about this much online because no one wants to talk about problems or things they struggle with on the internet. I have really bad health anxiety, uh, which my OCD just like feeds off of. I basically have these compulsive cycles where I experience a symptom. I start to Google what the symptom is because the thought won't stop until I Google it to get reassurance. I don't get that reassurance from like scrolling on Google and Reddit, but I do it anyway because it's like an intrusive thought that does not go away until I do it, but then I just keep doing it and it's basically an endless cycle. OCD can be so life altering. It can affect your relationships. I think there's like a, a lot of misconception about OCD. A lot of people are like, oh, you know, I like things clean and organized and my room has to be tidy. I'm so OCD. OCD is just distressing unwanted thoughts that you cannot get to go away and or like doing repetitive physical or mental cycles and behaviors but i do not have to feel that way forever and neither do you ocd is highly treatable it cannot be cured it cannot go away but you can learn to live with it and there are ways for you to treat your ocd and get relief from it and it's it's so scary to seek help it's embarrassing to to tell somebody that these are the kind of thoughts you're having because sometimes they can make you feel like a monster or crazy and you're none of those things. And OCD was created so people struggling with OCD can get the treatment and the help that they need without feeling ashamed of what they're going through. So at NoCD, every single therapist is an OCD specialist. So they use something called ERP, which is Exposure and Response Prevention Therapy. It's the most proven OCD treatment and they will help you take the power away from OCD and put it back in your own hands on face-to-face -face video call sessions. NoCD also accepts most major insurance plans and they provide always-on support in between therapy sessions. So if you too are trying to get Get a grip on your OCD, just go to nocd.com and schedule a free 15-minute call with their therapy team. You're all in alone. Sorry, I got too vulnerable. I had to make it unserious. This one is a cult classic. This was the unlucky one. This was my favorite character to play. Let me tell you why. I was deathly afraid of the movie The Ring. Never seen it, but like the little, like the girl with the long black hair scared me to death. Somehow that's still like a fear of mine is randomly seeing a, a, a girl on like a white dress with long black hair covering her face in the corner of my room at night. Let me tell you a story. So I have this irrational fear of little girls with long black hair and white dresses. My biggest fear in life was getting a phone call that said you were going to die in seven days. I thought that was gonna happen to me. Then I became obsessed with like horror stuff because I was so scared of this. So I started watching this guy's YouTube channel. He would like make, I'm assuming fake ghost videos. And it was basically like he would be going around his house and be like, guys, the doors are all open on my cabinets. And I just think that the ghost is back and I'm so scared. And then he would like go down to his basement and there would be like a girl standing there in a long white dress, like black hair over the face, but like he wouldn't ever see her. Like he would just like pan around the room and be like, I don't see anything. And everyone, everyone in the comments would be like, oh my God, my cat is looking. Pause. She's so cute. Oh my God. Anyway, everyone comes like, oh, God, this. and then he would like post another video and he'd be like, you guys all 
someone saw this this thing in my last video. Anyway, this was in that that era of hyperfixation, and so naturally it became a character of my own. I was gonna put her in if I saw you on the street, I would survive. But I actually think if I saw that on the street, I would probably pass away. She's gonna go in UG only because I. No, I'll put her in if I saw you on the street, I would survive. Only because I feel like if I saw her and I realized it was her, I'd be like, okay, queen. But I wouldn't invite her to my birthday party. I think that might scare the guests. Next, I didn't fart, that was my chair. Next on the list, we have Flare the Evil Fairy and Twinkle the Nice Fairy. Flare the Evil Fairy was, she was a little evil queen. We love a villain arc. She would go crazy on like, on like Stan Twitter. She would go crazy with the people watching the Agatha Witch show. Red hair, alt queen. Hot Topic hates to see her coming. I'm gonna put her if I saw you on the street, I would survive because I feel like she would spit on all the people at my birthday party. Um, Twinkle, she's kind of annoying because why is she, why is she boring? Why are you, why are you being a goody two shoes? <laughs> what? What was that? Did anybody see that? I just like, I just think she's too goody two shoes. What is, stop! Oh my God. Who's putting that text there? But she's kind of cutesy, so we'll put her in UG. Mm. This next one is a personal favorite of mine, Ben. Mm. Ben was the boy character. He was, he was me with a beanie on. He would always like try to ask me on dates. That would mean I was date, trying to date myself, which seems about right. That's something I would do. If I could date myself, mm. no questions asked. You wouldn't? You know you would. You know, I would not invite him to my birthday party. He was like really awkward. I also just not into um, his kind. If I saw him on the street, I would survive. Uh, I would probably beat him up though, because- Do you want a piece of gum? I was just gonna have one. All right, here you go. Uh, 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 um, uh. Get a grip. Stinging clown. What do you Criminal, no, I wish I could scalp you. I wish I could scalp the rainbow wig off of that thing's head. It's the one that we've all been waiting for. Princess Lucy. Uh. Yeah. Criminal offense. Wait, wait, wait. Criminal offense. Criminal offense. If I ever had a child, that would be the last name on planet Earth that I would ever consider naming it. I would name it Skidmark before I would name it Lucy. I probably wouldn't actually do that. I might. Listen to me. Lucy is a word that I have muted in my TikTok comments. Every time I would get a comment, years, years would be taken off of my life. You know how many years I'm down? A lot. A lot of years. Now, a lot of this might be controversial. A lot of people might disagree with this ranking. However, those were the voices in my head. And that's a correct ranking of them. No further questions at this time. I, I will not be taking questions. Hope you enjoyed. If, if there's anyone I missed um, that you really felt like needed to be in this ranking, let me know. Maybe I'll do a second one. Probably not. You can dream. <laughs>